Okay, in this one minute, let's discuss two important concepts given by James Dusenberry in his relative income hypothesis, the demonstration effect and the ratchet effect. The demonstration effect refers to the behavior of individuals caused by an observation of the actions of others and their consequences. For example, in a society when standard of living increases for some individuals, they start increasing their consumption expenditure like buying a new car, a house, a bike, new furniture, adopting to new lifestyles, etc. Looking at this, the remaining individuals in the society also try to adopt to this affluence in their own little ways. Dusenberry argued that awareness of the consumption habits of others tends to inspire imitation of these practices, which ultimately impact on the saving rates and consequent opportunities for macroeconomic growth. Another example is a culture of rampant corruption that has demonstration effect in a society and adds to their transformation for the worse. Now let's talk about the ratchet effect. When income of individuals or households falls, it's observed that their consumption expenditure does not fall as much. This is because the people try to maintain their consumption at the highest level attained earlier. This is partially due to the demonstration effect also. People do not want to show their neighbors that they no longer can afford to maintain their standard of living. This observation, which is why is known as ratchet effect.